appreciate that comment. The next uh, introduction will be a little bit different. This will be uh, by a video, and this will be uh, by Gene Krieger, and we'll introduce the 1982-1983 uh, volleyball team. So we'll go ahead and see that, and uh, then call them up. Hey, we're a Pacific family. I'm excited to hear that the first women's volleyball team that won the national championship when I was there is being inducted into a Hall of Honor, and they asked me to say a few things. Uh, I think the first thing I will remember is that uh, as a young coach, I'm not sure who learned more, the girls teaching me or me teaching them, because uh, I had some experienced uh, players that have been doing the sport a lot longer than I did. They were gracious enough to uh, comply with my attempts and, and we worked it out together. Um, I've actually sent uh, Warren Pacific a picture of the regional championship that I took and also a team photo from that year so the girls would have that as a memento. They asked me to tell one story, uh, perhaps something uh, unique that most people would remember. And I can't pass this one up, and the girls, the, the grown ladies now will agree. Uh, when we won the regional championship, uh, the national championship was in Detroit, Michigan. And we didn't have any money to go. So we had a few weeks to get on the phone and call supporters and alumni and see if they would financially uh, contribute to the airline fare. But we didn't have a place to stay. So we found out a supporter that had an empty house about 20 minutes from the venue and all the girls brought a sleeping bag and we slept in an empty house on sleeping bags at the national tournament of the NCCAA. Well, it didn't go very well the first day. We barely survived pool play and then the second day, the championship day, we found ourselves uh, in the loser's bracket playing the team we had just lost to. And we had to beat them twice to win the national championship. In volleyball language, that means we had to win six games in a row without interruption to be the national champions. It almost seemed like an un insurmountable task but that's exactly what these ladies did. They beat the team 3-0. They gave us a 15-minute break. We beat the team 3-0 again. And as Glenn Elephant's dad has, I have this picture too, ladies, if you want it. Everyone dogpiled on center court because the team from Oregon that had to sleep in sleeping bags in an empty house had just won the first National Christian College National Championship. Congratulations to all of those of you that were involved. I have remembered many memories from that experience. I wish I was here to join you, but I hope you all get a, a chance to share with each other and exchange some fond memories. Go Knights! Holly 
Molly Snow, Angel Humphrey, Carol Dreos, is that correct? Yes. Christy Reiser, Barbara LaFont, Diane McGraw, Sharon Bergstrom, Glenna LaFont, Karen Harris, Paula Krikow, Becky Farmer, Vicki Rich, Marie Snelling, Chris Yates, and Kathy Hutchinson.
be able to say, hey, I've got a better Ebenezer. And today, in terms of like, God was good to us. Um, we prayed together. <laughs> we cried together. We were family at that time. When you really, I mean, guys, basketball, they put in maybe two, three hours. We were eight, ten hours of practice every day when nobody else had the gym and we were there in the summer being ready. And um, we were a family. And we, like I said,